What's up people, this is Talal, your host, and this is going to be a completely different kind of show. This is my good friend Ruel, he is uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, he has been featured before on the channel, he is a hypnotherapist, he is a magician and an actor. And today we're doing it in a completely different style of format, he came down from London and uh, he wanted to interview me, so <laughs> the tables are going to be flipped in this episode. Ruel is going to be interviewing me, uh, instead of me interviewing Ruel like how it was last time. And uh, we, we want to do this for you guys uh, because we're going to be approaching a really big milestone for the channel which is the 100th video. We're going to be reaching the 100th video mark. So this is a bit of a catch up. Ruel came down from London and he just wanted to uh, interview me because he thought it would be great to go behind the scenes. Um, and uh, just talk a little bit about the journey so far. So, well, thanks, man. This is uh, this is gonna be a pretty awesome conversation. Really looking forward to it. Um, maybe do you want to introduce yourself to the audience and, and tell them a little bit about what you do, man? Sure thing. Well, as you mentioned, uh, thank you so much for the lovely introduction. My background is is in magic, hypnosis, and in mind reading. So if you can just imagine David Blaine merged with Darren Brown, that sort of thing with the psychology and the showmanship. So I've always been fascinated in that side of things and also the entrepreneurialism. So that is why I've decided that it would be a great opportunity to get you get a chance to, to interview you, not get you on the show because technically I'm on your show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is going to be confusing, like what's, what's really going on here, yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. so um, I would like to just firstly start off with, with some interesting questions. Firstly, I would like you to just, just give us a, a brief summary of where you are today and how you got there in terms of going down the entrepreneurial route what you're doing currently now and also in terms of the coaching side of things that I've recently heard about. Awesome. So first of all guys, let me tell you this, Ruel has interviewed many great people before, okay? So we are in very good hands. He has interviewed everybody uh, from very famous uh, Bollywood actors like Akshay Kumar and uh, all the way to Brian Tracy's and, and, and uh, the Les Browns of the world. So uh, go check him out by the way. Go check him out on Instagram. He's all, all over Instagram. Go check him out. His uh, hashtag is I think Ruel Sing Official. Is that right? Great, so yeah. go check him out. Lots of awesome stuff there. Um, anyway, so yeah, great question. Um, at the moment, the, uh, what's happened is the channel's evolved, and so have I. And you see that, like right from the start, from when I started, I didn't know anything, right? Um, and I just wanted to do something, just wanted to start, and that's what I did. A lot of people give you advice on, you know, sit down and plan and write your goals and set out the vision for the next year or the next five years, the next ten years, and what's your life vision and all that kind of stuff, which is all good and great, and I've tried that. But as far as I'm concerned, I get results by taking action, getting stuff done. That's what I'm all about, okay? So when I started the YouTube channel I didn't have a clue I didn't know anything about YouTube or video or like recording or editing software and SEO and all that stuff like using hashtags and social media. I didn't know anything up but what I did do was I bought a secondhand camera from a shop set it up and just start messing around okay and that's how it started and all I really wanted to do was just pass on the knowledge that I was learning and was making an impact in my life and I was finding useful to other people but now it's evolved. We're kind of at a stage where, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to build a business behind the channel. Um, there are going to be different bits to it. And one of them is, like you said, is going to be coaching. So everything that I have learned by exposing myself to the world's top thought leaders in different domains is, you know, whatever I've learned, I want, I want to share that with people. Um, and I believe the best way to go ahead and do it is through the medium of coaching. So where you actually work very closely with somebody else, you actually tailor the advice you give them, the action plan, the strategies, the tactics, the hacks, like whatever it is, it's tailor made for them for their journey, right? And I think that's really powerful. And for the audience, I would say if you don't have a coach or a mentor in your life, I strongly suggest that you go ahead and find one. How do you think I got started? I wanted to get mentors. I wanted to expose myself to really high level people. Because your average is the five people you want you spend the most time with. So my goal was to just expose myself to really high-level people 
and that's how I got started and my original intention was to just interview them and just learn from them uh, and, and do a show because I think that's the best way to kind of get them on board because you know why I have a reason to get in front of them right Did you see what I mean yeah. <laughs> otherwise it's really difficult to get get in front of some of those people mm -hmm. so yeah that's where things are at I want to try and build a business and one side of it will definitely be coaching and it's be holistic so it won't just be focused towards you know starting YouTube channel it'll be start it'll be on you know any domain that you want to work on so everything that I have learned whether that is relationships whether that is finances whether that is business whether that's entrepreneurship um, or personal development or mindset whatever it is that I've learned I'm happy to share that with people brilliant so another thing is what does the logo represent and how did you come up with the idea it's a good question <laughs> um, the, the, if, if, here's the thing like guys if you go and check out the the channel art you would see that it's uh, like a spinning wheel of light with sparks flying everywhere okay so that represents a vortex of energy mm. and this is what I'm all about I, I, I like if you you know me man like I'm high energy right okay high energy high impact so when we are looking at designing something so important as the the logo or like the backdrop of for the channel or like you know uh, you use that for social media and other purposes then I wanted to actually have some sort of meaning have some, it, it needs to be a symbol of what I'm all about and what the channel is all about and that is all about how you show up you show up every single day and you crush it right so you bring that tremendous amount of energy that tremendous amount of focus determination um, and that's that what that represents it's a vortex of energy uh, and that's what you see like if you do see in the backdrop it's, it's it's like a spinning wheel of light it looks like a spinning wheel of light with sparks flying off and it's, it's a vortex of energy and that's what it represents that's my it. energy <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. yeah so what what inspired you to start the channel then uh, um, what inspired me was the fact that I saw that you know having lived the life I had up to the point where I was exposed to things like personal development up to the point where I was exposed to things like mindset and entrepreneurship etc it was very it was very fixed it was very kind of um, I almost felt stuck and trapped in it like this, I, I always felt like there's more right there's got to be more than what what whatever was going on in my life uh, and I was definitely at a place at that time where I did feel stuck and stagnant and stressed and frustrated and I'm sure lots of people out there can also relate to this where you do face times in your life hard times where you just feel like well how, how do you get past this? This got to be more. This this cannot just be it. But you, you just don't know where to go and seek the answers. Your pain is too much. Your pain is too great. And I was like that in uh, at that time. So um, I I just came across things like you know motivational videos, motivational podcasts, people like Les Brown, Brian Tracy, Tony Robbins. So I started looking into that. And the more I learned, the more I got exposed to those things, the more I implemented those strategies. And this is key, guys. You can consume all the content you you can but nothing beats taking action you have to step up you have to implement whatever you have learned and that's what I did I started implementing those things and I started to see my life accelerate my mind expanded and new possibilities and new opportunities just started to show up and start to open up and the inspiration really was for me to go and just share it with others I'm like look if it's helping me it's got to be helping other people. And I know, like in my case, it was like I had a I had a really rough childhood. My my parents, they like the family situation wasn't great at all. I grew up pretty dysfunctional. You could even call it broken. Um, I had lots of emotional issues, mental issues. Um, you know, lots of insecurities, lots of like the fixed mindset. Yeah, that was all me. So you know as, as as I got more and more exposure to these things I just want to share with people and and that's why guys I show up every single week to serve you guys I try and work super hard to bring on amazing guests so we can actually learn from them and implement the strategies that they have implemented in their lives and start to accelerate our lives so we can achieve the same level of extraordinary results that they have managed to create and that's what I that, that's what I'm all about okay that's what the channel is all about that's why it's called hustle is for life motivation because that's what it does to you it gives you the motivation to go and hustle in every single area of your life mm -hmm. 
Okay, well, that was that was a lot of information right there. Like, <laughs> to sum everything up. How has it been then, the journey from start to finish now, starting your channel, and what trials and tribulations have you had to deal with, and also have to overcome, and how have you overcome it as well? That's a, that's a good question, man. Um, I mean, you you witnessed you know quite a lot of the journey, right? Okay, um, it's it's been a roller coaster, like like anybody would tell you. When when you start something like this, uh, it's been a bit of a roller coaster, you know. Um, and and the biggest I think challenges were internal. Mm -hmm. Um, lot of things on you know not knowing, being afraid. Um, feeling insecure, not being sure about what's going to happen in the future, um, not not having any sense of um, belonging almost because, you know, I almost felt like who am I to, to, to do something like this? You know, there are other people like this Tony Robbins of the world and the Brian Tracy's of the world and the Les Browns of the world. Like, who am I to do anything like this? Um, but the, the thing was I just kept showing up. I never stopped. I never gave up. Um, and I, I, and there had been times, um, you know, where I felt like maybe I should stop. Maybe that's the right thing to do here, because it's just not going at the 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 pace that I wanted to go. But I just kept going, and now we're at like nearly the 100th video mark, right? Um, pretty soon we're going to be launching our 100th video, which, if you think about, it, is a massive milestone. Um, but it it just stems from the fact that I showed up every single week and I, I my whole point was to come and serve the audience, serve you guys. So I just showed up every single week. Doesn't matter how I felt, didn't matter what I thought, all that mattered was that I showed up and I came from a place of service. It's all that mattered. And here we are, close to 100 videos. So what's been, out of all of those videos, what's been the most fun and memorable video, <laughs> would you say? Oh man, this is, this is a hard question, you're gonna kill me here. Um, man, the, the, here's the thing, I'm so passionate, I'm so driven um, to learn, to, to hang out with all these high level people that I don't think that there's a single video that I didn't enjoy or I didn't learn from. There was always something that I could learn. And, and I usually take notes, like, mm -hmm. you know, for, for people who, who've been watching the channel for a while, you see there are times where I actually just, like, picked up my notepad and I've shown it to people. I'm like, look, I've got a page of notes here, mm -hmm. right? Like, this interview has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, and, like, I think the, the some of the best moments are when... Um, I get exposed to a idea that is so huge that it starts to expand my mind at the speed of light. Could be a quote, could be an idea, could be a strategy, could be a tactic, could be a hack, like whatever the guest is sharing. Um, it's just so powerful that I'm just like, whoa. And there have been so many times, if you watch the video guys, where I do talk about the fact, hey, I'm getting chills, I'm getting goosebumps as you're talking about it because it's just so powerful, it just expands your mind at the speed of light. So I think that's, that's what's really important for me. So it's not just one interview that I can solve, although there have been times where I'm just like, yeah, crush this one, this has been awesome. <laughs> but, you know, I'd say every single interview has been awesome. Um, and I've had the, the, the honor and the privilege to, to have some really amazing guests on. So I, I, I'm just really, I just feel really blessed to, to be connected with all these guys and, and to come in and share all, all the conversations with the audience. Well, speaking of mindset and also speaking of the guests that you've had on, what, what do you do to get yourself in that right mindset to, to be interviewing such high profile clients and guests? Wow, like seriously, it took me a while to get used to it. Because mm. um, some of the people I've had on, I even to this day, I look back and I'm just like, how did that happen? Right? Like, how on earth did I manage to convince this person to come and give me their time and, and jump on an interview with me? Right? Like, if you think about it, like, my, my main job is just as a maths lecturer, right? Like, I talk about it all the time. My main job is a maths lecturer. So there have been times where I'm just like, wow, this is like crazy. And, and it took me a while to get used to it. But 
it's all based on networking strategies like you keep trying different things you just never quit um, and if you keep showing up you will figure it out and that's what I did I figured it out along the way it's not something like I sat down I you know did like thousands of hours of research I, I planned I had you know people you know and mentors guiding me and helping me you know and, and telling me what to do and how to do this none of that man I just figured it out along the way I just showed up so it, it did, took me a while to get used to um, you know having these big guests on but to prepare for the mindset, here, here, here are some of the keys. One, make sure that you are prepared. You look at the research, you've done the research on the guest, uh, you know what they do, you know what they're all about, so you, you actually show up prepared. Second is, you wanna show up and you wanna serve the audience and the focus has to be on the audience, right? So my focus is on how, what can I ask this person that will serve the audience, right? So I'm focusing on the audience and I'm, that enables me to just kind of calm down a bit because I'm not focused so much on, oh my word, I'm interviewing like Dory Clark or Don Rettrick or Howard Bihar or whoever, right? Like I'm, I'm more relaxed because I'm like, how can I serve the audience? I have somebody right here in front of me. What can I, what, you know, golden nuggets can I extract from this conversation that will serve the audience? Um, so that that's really useful and the third thing is actually you know what they're they're all human beings like if you put them on a pedestal it is gonna be hard for you so don't put them on a pedestal just treat them just like your friends just like another person and guess what they will respond back to you that way but if you carry that nervous energy around you it is really difficult it is and, and people struggle I know people struggle with that right so guys seriously if you are reaching out to somebody who's really high level just talk to them like another person, okay, that you meet in the street, okay, because if you put them on a pedestal, you will carry a nervous energy and they will pick, on, pick up on that. How many times have you come across somebody where they are nervous and you're just like, oh, okay, this, this is a bit, you know, I feel a little bit awkward, I don't know how to carry on with this conversation or how to relate to this person, I can't really relax because they feel nervous, right? So, same thing, just just treat them as another person and inside you might be nervous just don't show it <laughs> you know you know what they say uh, fake it until you make it so that's kind of what I did <laughs> alright then so in terms of mentors because mm. I know you mentioned in the beginning you didn't really have no one to, to turn to you literally just just went about it and just got started and got the ball rolling yeah so in terms of mentors how do you go about finding the right mentors for you um, Okay, so this, this is going to sound um, a little bit maybe controversial for some people. They showed up. I just started connecting with people um, and they just showed up. I mean, there have been times where um, I, I have actually asked somebody because I was like, hey, this is, this is a high level person, this is great, um, and I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask them to be my mentor. And sometimes it's actually worked out, like they, they've been like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll help you, I'll, what, what do you want to know? And sometimes I actually ask them and they've said no or, you know, they've, they've, some people have even tried to sell me their coaching programs, mm -hmm. right, okay, um, and I, I couldn't afford them, right, I couldn't afford the coaching thing and, and I think for a lot of people, maybe you guys can relate, where you can't afford a, a high level mentor, you can't afford a high level coach. Um, and mentors, you know, you don't necessarily have to pay the mentor is just somebody who's just paying the 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 due diligence that was uh, done by somebody who they connected with and they passed on their knowledge and, and they're just passing that on to you. So, you know, that's how I see a mentor and I see a coach as somebody who's, who's getting paid for stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, for mentors, I have asked people, sometimes worked out, sometimes it didn't. Sometimes they just said, you know, I, I, I didn't even ask them. They just said, hey, what, what's going on with you? What, what are you working on? What do you need help with right now? Um, so it's it's not there's not a straightforward answer that I can give you like how I found those mentors and I did my research and the one person I connected with and he, he changed my life didn't quite happen that way um, for me so far I mean it might happen in the future but I would say if somebody out there is looking for mentors what's really important is that you connect with somebody who is going to invest in you mm -hmm. right but that means first that you have to invest in them, right? Like you have to give them a reason to invest in you, right? Like for example, if I want you to be my mentor, 
I have to add value to you first. Like I have to show up and I have to prove myself that I'm going to be a great as such apprentice and whatever advice you give me, I'm going to go take away and I'm going to implement. Mm -hmm. Right? And I'm going to do it in a very sort of honest, truthful, transparent way. I'm not going to try and, you know, profit from your advice or pass it on or sell it on or, or do anything, you know, sleazy with that. But genuinely to apply that advice that you're giving me and accelerate. Because there's still some, sometimes you meet people and you give them advice and, and they will resist, right? Like if I start resisting and you say, hey, I spent so much time with you, I told you what to do and you s still screwed it up. That's not something you want your mentor to experience, right? If they're investing in you, you have to like take that on board and run with it. So one thing I would definitely say is if you are looking for a mentor, uh, make sure they're going to invest in you because that's really important. The person has to be genuine. They definitely need to invest in you. They don't need to try and use you as a tool to get forward and you know to whatever they want to do. Uh, but also make sure that you show up and you add value to them. Um, and you prove yourself as in somebody who is honest, who is truthful, who is reliable, who is determined, who is focused, who is going to show up and, you know, essentially implement that advice. So it, you know, basically that's what a mentor is looking for at the end of the day, just to see you get better. So just got to show up and do it. That's all. That's brilliant advice. So anyone that's looking to follow a similar path as you and to, to go down the entrepreneurial route and also to start a, a channel or, or a company, what would you say, what advice would you give them for the, the followers, the people that are, that are interested? I think it depends on where you are in your journey and what your goals are. So for people who are wanting to do something, I mean, I think the best advice I can give um, is for anybody who is wanting to do more, make a bigger impact. So now, whether that's through a business, whether that's through a podcast, whether that's through, uh, you know, uh, starting a non-profit, uh, you know, volunteering with charity, like whatever they want to do. The main thing is if you want to make a bigger impact, the thing is really simple. You need to develop yourself A. Okay, number one thing is you need to constantly work on yourself, learn, develop yourself, and implement those strategies. Okay, so that brings me on to number two. Take action. Don't just study a bunch of books. Don't just listen to a bunch of podcasts. Don't just talk to, you know, uh, uh, people on social media and blogs. And stuff. Take action. Okay, take consistent, persistent action. All right, to move forward. Third thing is, always show up from a place of service okay you want to serve other people that's what you have to be all about okay you have to s connect yourself to a bigger purpose which is other people how you can help them how you can add value to them how you can help them how you can serve them how you can help them you know alleviate their pain and their their, their problems what is your top three all inspiring books, movies, and also documentaries. So, say for example, Wolf on Wall Street. For yeah. me, mm. that is for an entrepreneur. I love that movie in terms of stocks and shares and and how to sell anything. What would you say in terms of of your top three books? Let's just start off. What would you say is is your favorite? Hmm. Um. To be honest, I I I, I do two things. I don't watch them in documentaries. I do read a lot of books and I listen to a lot of podcasts. So I, I can tell you a little bit about that. So top three books. That's going to be hard, but um, I, I would I would say number one has to be Mindset by Carol Dweck. Mm -hmm. Absolutely insane book. It's written by Carol Dweck, who is the professor, I believe, at Stanford University. She's a professor of psychology, has been exploring the whole idea of growth versus fixed mindset for like nearly four decades amazing book it's been described as the most important book in English language even more important than the Bible so how can it not be number one well it has to be number one if I'm going with with the list okay so number one mindset number two the one thing by Gary Keller and Jay Papazan oh my word if you want to know a step-by-step -step system that will transform your life could be overnight if you read the book in one evening. Um, that, that is the book, man. Oh wow, that that is so powerful. I love that book. There's also one thing 
podcast. So it's related to the book. It's run by Jeff Birds. Um, so make sure you check that out. Um, so that's number two. Okay, the one thing book and the podcast. And the final one, uh, in terms of the books, I would say um, that it has the biggest impact on me um, is, uh, is is the book by um, Angela Duckworth called Grit. She's also a professor of psychology. Uh, I can't remember which university she's with, but she wrote the book on grit, which is basically to pursue a goal in the long run with passion um, and perseverance. And it, it just like ties in the whole thing about, you know, you need to have mindset, you need to have a strategies in place and you need to have grit in order to succeed. So if you're somebody who's looking to make an impact, be successful, I think those are the top three books. In terms of podcasts, I've already mentioned the One Thing podcast. There's also the Mentee podcast. Mm -hmm. I also listen to um, Cult of Startup mm -hmm. by uh, Luke Beard who, uh, by the way, I'm hoping to get on the channel, so <laughs> it'll be cool when, when Luke's on the channel, um, and uh, things like, um, what's it called, Smart Passive Income mm -hmm. uh, by Pat Flynn, and what else is there, oh, Impact Theory, yeah, there's a YouTube channel by Tom, Tom Bilyeu mm -hmm. called Impact Theory, and there's also a podcast, Impact Theory, um, definitely, highly, highly recommended, you, 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 gotta, you guys gotta check that out. Okay, so now just to give the viewers and all your fans a, a kind of idea, what would a normal day for you be like? So you, you, you wake up in the morning, because I know that you, you jam pack a lot of things in your day. So what would a normal layout or structure of the day be for an entrepreneur like yourself, someone that's achieved so much in such a short amount of time? What would that be like and also how does that go hand in hand with your fitness? Okay, so uh, great question. My daily schedule uh, could be absolutely nuts at times and there are times where I'm putting in like 18 hour days. So I try and wake up early around say 6 o'clock, 6 half 6, something like that. I wake up. Um, and then it's just on the go. So, you know, I usually wake up in the morning, sort myself out. Um, I will have some work to do. So whether that's sending messages, that putting up posts on Facebook, whether that is, you know, uh, editing a video, I'll have something planned and I'm going to accomplish that. Either while I'm having breakfast or before breakfast or after breakfast, like it, it, it's just a continuation. And there are messages that I have to reply to that, that have come up and things like that. Um, I don't really have a very strict sort of morning routine like other people do where they wake up and they do a meditation and they do journaling and they do this and do this. I am, once I'm awake, I'm ready to go. So I don't need anything as such to kind of prime me to prepare for the rest of the day. I'm just ready to go. I'm ready to crush whatever it is and I've got it all planned. And usually I plan the, the night before um, as in what what needs to be done so my first part of the day is quite hectic then get the kids ready you know I go to work they go to school um, and then I that's it my day job so I'm at the day job do the day job which is like you know I'm a mass lecturer so I, I, I teach at a vocational college I do that all day uh, finish that and then usually what I try and do is if nothing else is going on like this for example <laughs> where we're doing, we doing this interview um, I would try and go to the gym and that's how I try and fit in my you know fitness thing um, and I, I'm, I love going to the gym, um, I hate the pain that I get afterwards, but I love going to the gym and, and just letting it out, like, that's like my, my space, I can go and just hulk out, right? So I go to the gym, I keep my workout quite short and intense, so, you know, about half an hour to 40, 40 minutes, sometimes 45 minutes, you know, things like that if I'm stretching at the end or whatever. So keep them really short, really intense. I train different parts of the body. I do a lot of compound movements with a bit of cardio to warm up um, at the start. Okay, but again, with the cardio, it's not, well, it's a warm up, but it's uh, like, I, I go hard. I go hard on the cardio as well. Um, and I train different, different parts of the body. Um, and that's it, that's the gym done. So I finish that, I come home, take a shower, um, and, you know, have dinner, put the kids to bed. Once they're in bed, tidy up, clean, do the dishes, you know, the, the normal stuff that you have to do. And once that's done, kids are in bed. This is about, I don't know, eight, half eight now in the evening. 
that's when I do the rest of the stuff. So that's where all the interviews are planned. That's where I do all the editing of the videos. That's where I do all the networking. That's where I actually start like my you know um, networking course that I built. Like I, I do that at that time. Um, reply to people's messages. Reply to people's emails. Set up social media posts. Call you know take calls. Um, you know set up meetings. Like anything that happens it usually happens late in the evening and so I, I I usually you know end up finishing around 10 half 10 in the night mm -hmm. that's usually when I finish um, although there have been times where it's finished late I finished like 11 half 11 in the night I finished like I had sometimes I've like three calls or three interviews back to back so it's just boom 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 like three hours just from like 8 or you know whatever it is till like 11 o'clock at night it's just like I gotta crush it like there's no other time um, it, it is difficult because it depends on other people's schedule as well so it's not just my schedule it's like other person can only fit it in this day this week when they're not traveling when they're not got everything else going on so that's the only time they can do it so I have to get it done otherwise it won't get done mm -hmm. so I do that um, and then I go to bed and then I wake up and then it starts all over again um, on the weekends, weekends are like, I, it, basically I work seven days a week, okay, there's no such thing as an off day for me, uh, even when, I'm, for example, I've, I've been away, I've been on holiday, I'm still doing things, I'm still sending messages, I'm still replying to stuff, I'm still, uh, you know, setting up meetings and calls and interviews and all sorts of other stuff, so I'm still doing something, no matter what, I'm still going to be, you know, if I'm not doing that, I'll be reading a book. Another thing I do is I, I have systems. So for example, there there are certain evenings in the week that are planned. Yeah, like I, I have I have time planned to do stuff. So for example, Monday evenings are reading or learning evenings, right? So I'm, I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff like whatever he's doing uh, on Monday. I keep it to a minimum simply because I want to spend Monday evening on developing myself. So whether that's reading a book, whether that is watching online videos, doing an online course, whether that is uh, you know uh, watching a lecture or a talk or whatever it is like so I'm doing something to develop myself okay so Monday evenings are kind of like personal development um, then for example some other evening would be that that whole evening is just dedicated to editing the video like that's it I'm editing the video um, or I'm, I'm that like Wednesday evenings are mostly the ones where I do all the interviews so like you know I have like two three interviews planned on Wednesday like um, last night I did two back to back okay um, so and and then I'll have to spend the time editing it and stuff like that, which is why I launch video a day. But it's it's having those systems in place um, that allow you to go show up and and perform at a really high level. So in order to do and I, like I'm the only one doing this like that. I don't have anybody, no system, no team, nothing. I'm the one who runs everything, all the whole show. So I just have to build those systems in place. Um, and the the systems are really simple doesn't matter how I feel, doesn't matter if I'm tired, I didn't sleep well, you know, other stuff going on uh, with the family, uh, we're traveling, um, I'm sick, I'm tired, I'm burned out, it does not matter, doesn't matter how I feel, doesn't matter what's going on, um, I show up and I perform, like that's what matters to me, the results matter. Now, having said that, that doesn't mean I don't take care of myself, guys, it's really important, you don't burn yourself out, because most entrepreneurs you know, our type A personalities, people who are drivers, you want to crush it, you want results and you want them last week, <laughs> right? So to do that, you do have to take care of yourself and hence the fact that I do go to the gym, that's where I can just kind of let it out, like, um, I, I do meditation, that's another practice I have, so at least like once a day I do try to meditate, even if it's for just five minutes, it doesn't have to be guided meditation, although I do have guided meditation apps and things like that. Um, I just close my eyes and just concentrate on the breathing, you know, uh, just, just focus on the breath and, and just unwind, just get back to ground zero, right? Um, other good stuff is like I take care of my diet, I eat quite healthy, um, you know, I, 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 even though, you know, at work there are people bringing chocolates and biscuits and stuff like that and I'm just usually politely saying no thank you, um, you know, I, I appreciate the offer, but I, I stay away from all that stuff. Uh, because I know if I am not healthy, I'm not going to be able to perform at a high level, and I will, I will have, I'll have struggles along the way. So the only way that I can show up and perform, you know, day after day, week after week, month after month, is to take care of myself. 
So I do eat healthy, I do meditate, I do exercise, um, I do actually spend time developing myself, I, and, and there are times where I do have an off time. Okay guys, so there's a cheat evening, it's like a Friday evening where I spend a little bit of time just playing card or Halo or Tekken or something, alright? That's, that's like that kind of time. Um, and I, I have loads of other stuff going on. Like I, I'm the vice president of uh, public relations for my Toastmasters club here in Leicester. Um, so I, I've, I've got a lot of responsibility there. And you know, like I do all the social media there, all the recordings, all the videos, all the interviews, all the stuff there as well. So it's just like I have to plan my weeks as well. So for example, if I one week I have to go to Toastmasters because they're like bi-weekly meetings, they happen every two weeks. So the week that I'm going to Toastmasters evening, uh, the meeting, um, the, pri the week prior to that when I'm not going, I'll be preparing for that meeting, right? Mm -hmm. So next week, I have to go to Toastmasters, that's true by the way. So this week, I'm actually preparing for next week. So that evening, which is usually a Thursday evening, is just dedicated to Toastmasters um, and, and doing all that stuff. Um, so it, it if you look at the whole week, I have my days planned with a theme to each day. So, like I said, Monday could be the, the learning day, Wednesday is the um, interview day, and Thursday is day, the Toastmaster day. So there's, there's those things. Um, but also the fact that I know what stuff needs doing. So, for example, I need to spend an hour on Toastmaster stuff, knock that out of the park on a Thursday evening, and then get back on to doing whatever I need to do for, you know, networking and editing videos and connecting with people and answering calls and whatever. So then I get on to that stuff. So it's just making sure that you are planning in advance. So number one, plan. Okay. Number two, Stick to the plan, <laughs> right? Okay, there's nothing that sucks more than when you have a plan, you don't stick to it, and then chaos starts to happen. Absolutely. Number three, show up every single time. Um, it doesn't matter. Like, I've had a full day at work. Like, I told you this morning, we were talking as well, right? Like, before I went to work, uh, you came over, and I, I told you, like, even before I left to work, I woke up early and I had like seven things to do. You know, regarding social media, regarding, you know, answering uh, emails and messages and all sorts of other stuff. And I did that even before I left work. But I did all that, had breakfast, got myself ready, got the kids ready and still left for work after having a chat with you mm -hmm. on time, <laughs> right? Probably on time, yeah. Exactly. And then I went to work and I finished work and I, then we're doing this right now, okay? So the key is to show up, okay? Um, and I can I can take time out and I, you know and, and spend that, but this is my passion. I'm so driven by it that actually, you know, I I, I don't feel I need a lot of time off. Uh, as a matter of fact, time off actually makes it more anxious because I'm just like, oh, I need to be doing this. Why am I taking time off? Kind of thing. Um, however, I do I, I have those things in place as well. So for example, like I said, Friday evening is usually where I don't really have anything else planned apart from playing a lot of video games, spending time with the family, you know, and, and, and things like that. Um, so, oh, and, and if you're wondering if I, how do I manage the family, well, mm -hmm. family comes first. Mm -hmm. So all the family gets, stuff gets done and then all of this stuff gets done on top of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so family comes first. Just to make that clear. <laughs> I hope that made sense. That was a lot of, that was a lot of. That was, that was. So what could we be expecting from you next? And also, what could the viewers be expecting for the big milestone that will be the 100th video that you've uploaded? Yeah, man, I'm super excited about the 100th video. That's a huge milestone. And I, I never thought I'd reach it. You know, it, it's, I, I do videos weekly and when I started like I said I didn't know anything I didn't know where it was gonna go I didn't know what it's gonna develop into whether it will work or not work and I, I like I said I didn't know anything so I felt very lost um, so yeah this hundreds video is a huge milestone but in terms of the hundreds video I, I'm, I'm gonna leave it to you guys okay you tell me if you want me to bring any of the guests back which guest do you want to see come back which guest added the most value to you if you have any questions, send them, okay? Email me. You know my email is below in the description of every single video, okay? 
and you can just reach out to me and, and just comment on, on the channel. Okay, so leave your comments below about which guest you want to see on the 100th video, which guest, uh, guest added the most value to you, what questions you want me to ask them, what questions, um, you know, we didn't, what, what stuff we didn't cover in the last conversation. So let me know. Okay, that's, I, I, I really want to see what you guys have to say about it okay and and I will ensure you I will do everything in my power to book that guest but the sooner I know the quicker I know the more time I have to actually get them booked um, because like you know all these guys they're super busy with their own stuff so um, I, I, I just want to make sure that the hundredth video is the one that that adds value to the audience um, so I'm gonna leave it to the audience but in terms of what's next I think the channel is going to continue to evolve as I will continue to evolve and like I said before I mean I am super passionate about adding value to the audience like what will help them and I've had guests on from all domains and, and there's things that have started like if you go to the playlist section on the channel um, you will see the playlist for different things like parenting and health and fitness and education which to be honest I never planned for that at the start like that was not the plan but the fact that it just happened right like I connected with those people and I'm just like this this is amazing stuff what's going on here all right and I have learned so much it helped me you know expand my mind and my thinking and it helped me accelerate my life I'm gonna share it with others right so those things will continue to happen and I really want to explore the like the stuff that really fascinates me um, is how how things work and why things work and I'm, I'm, I'm curious about everything right I'm kind of like that lost wanderer who just kind of like looks at something like, oh shiny <laughs> just like wow this is amazing it's shiny so it's that kind of shiny object syndrome I have that all the time like literally I'm into everything okay um, but I do want to expand, so I want to like maybe bring on guests from different fields, like psychology, um, like uh, physics. I think super fascinating stuff. You know, like yeah. Einstein's relativity, quantum mechanics, string theory. You know, all that good stuff. Like so amazing. I, I maybe I want to explore that. Um, and I think again, it just getting people to you know uh, have that exposure to those amazing ideas in, in those advanced fields is, is fantastic because they're essentially filling in a part uh, of what you know in terms of how this world this reality works or you know how the universe works so I want to go and keep expanding uh, I've got a few more ideas like that that I want to try out and but again I love to hear what people have to say guys Tell me, tell me who else you want to see on the channel. What kind of guests you want to see? What other areas you want me to explore? I'm all about holistic success, okay? And so are you. That's why you show up here. So tell me, what guests you want to see on the channel? Who else can I bring on who will add value to you? What kind of conversations you want to see? Because at the end of the day, it's all about how I can serve you. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, so another thing is you've spoken about who you want to book next on the show. You've got your email address and that is for people suggesting what videos or who to bring on the show. So how would someone go about booking you for a presentation or say for example someone wanted you to get you on a TEDx, a TEDx stage, how would we go about getting you on stage and, and to push you on that platform so you can serve the people because there's a lot of people that's looking at your channel around the world and the great thing about it as you mentioned about the sleep thing is while we're working in one country we are six hours ahead of America now America's waking up or mm. they're, they're doing something else so it doesn't stop it's endless learning so there's always people the statistics have showed on your videos that there's a lot of people watching from different countries and yeah. going into different fields and topics that you've you've spoken about and the great thing about it what I find amazing is no one else has done the thing with the playlist that I've personally seen where the playlist has different topics suggestions and like you said parenting and health and fitness so that's amazing so how would someone go about booking you if there's an entrepreneur that wants to book you and they feel that they would love to do that 
how would they get in contact with you and get you on the stage? That's a good question. I think the first thing needs to be the fact I, I need to uh, be completely honest and, and first of all ensure that it's a good fit. Mm -hmm. That I can actually generally go there and add value to them, their platform and their audience. Mm -hmm. And if it's just a matter of like me going there and delivering a talk, I don't see that as being very beneficial mm -hmm. because if it's not going to add value to the audience, then like they might as well have somebody else mm -hmm. okay, who, who can add, you know, solve the audience. So the first thing really that matters is like, is it a good fit? And also a good fit for me because obviously I, I want to make sure that if I'm going there, I'm able to share my ideas openly with everybody. Mm -hmm. So it has to be a good fit. But in terms of just booking, hey man, like anybody can just reach out to me. Like I'm completely open, I'm always available. Um, you know, I have a LinkedIn account and those links are below in the description as well guys. Um, you know, anybody who's interested, they can go check out my LinkedIn profile um, and, and they'll get a lot more information about me and, and you know, what else is happening and, and other people, what, what they have to say about me. Also, um, they can reach out to me through the email. So there's the email address, which is hustle is f o r for life, not the number four, but hustle is f o r life at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Other than that, they can just reach out to me through the channel. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, I they they can reach out to me on Facebook. We have a Facebook page, by the way, which is really exciting. Uh, we have a Facebook page, which is just like hustle is for life motivation. All right, Perfect. so they can reach out through Facebook. So yeah, lots of ways people can reach out. Well that is excellent. Thank you so much for coming on the show. In fact, thank you so <laughs> much for, for giving me the, the honor and the privilege to actually be on the show to interview you. No, so I appreciate that man. It's, it's something that I've thought about doing for quite some time and we see a lot of people behind the scenes like yourself getting all these interviews and doing all this work. However, we don't get a chance to actually find out how they are and what they're doing in their life to make them achieve so much on that high standard. So it was a pleasure and thank you so much. You guys have seen it here first. The 100th video coming very soon. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, you know, thank you man for uh, coming on. Uh, to be honest with you, this is this is interesting. Like I never thought, you know, that I'll be interviewed by somebody else on my own channel because you know, th that's what I do. That's my thing, right? But um, you know, I, I, I think it's, it's, it's been great to, to do this simply because I think for people to kind of go behind the scenes as well and see just like how it's actually operating. And it's, it's a one man team. It's me guys. And I have a full time job. I have a family and I do this on top of everything else. And I show up every single week to serve you guys. So you can see the commitment is absolutely genuine. And I, I'm going to continue to do this, right? So it doesn't matter if I have one subscriber or if I have one million, right? At the end of the day, even if there is one subscriber, one person that I'm helping um, who can find benefit in, in those conversations that I'm having with these great thought leaders, then that's all I really care about. And to be honest with you, again, if you look at the subscriber numbers, not as much as the other channels, because I don't know anything about SEO, I still don't know. I, if I learn a strategy, I try and implement it, right? But it's not something like I've done courses on it, or you know, I've got mentors, or I've been doing this for years and years, and I've got so much experience, and this is my like seventh channel that I've started. Nothing like that. So you know, I'm 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 still in the process of learning and growing myself. Um, but the thing is, the commitment is real, right? Um, and uh, since you know you and I have known each other, it's uh, it's 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 been a you know a crazy journey. We've both been working on different things, and I know you expanded into the, uh, you know the the domain of acting. Now you're an actor, which is fantastic. Um, and uh, you know you have again so much more to offer to people. Um, the, our last conversation was amazing. We looked at like body language and hypnotherapy and all sorts of other stuff, which is fantastic. Um, but guys, you know. At the end of the day, um, Ruel wanted to take you guys behind the scenes. Okay, that's what the main focus of this conversation was. He wanted to take you guys behind the scenes um, and interview me, so you guys can see exactly what happens. And as you can see, this setup is 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 not fantastic. We're just at my sister's house. Um, we we've, we've just kind of do with the lighting that we have. Um, it's not in a professional studio or anything because we just decided to do it because he just came down from London. Um, and Rob was like, well, let's, let's do this. I, I really want to do this, you know, before the 100th video. So that's it. We just decided to do it for you guys. Uh, so I hope you found value in this. I hope you enjoyed it. So, well, tell those guys 
where can they go to find out more about you and how can they reach out to you? Well, wow. Well, if you want to find out more about me, you can do your own research and check out <laughs> check out my videos. I've got loads of videos I upload as much as I can. A lot of them I get really busy because just like yourself, this is me that's choreographing it, writing it, I'm having to organize the the lighting and everything like that in terms of my performance as well and also to push it out to the right people. So Hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more from me in terms of the acting side of things, in terms of Hollywood and Bollywood productions. And also, I'm in the process now of writing a book as well, so slowly want to get things sorted with that. And the title of the book is How to Break Into the Industry, whether that's acting or whether that's modelling, because I've also worked in the modelling industry, mm. so London Fashion Week. We all know that London Fashion Week and Dubai Fashion Week, yeah. and most of the fashion weeks happen in September and in February. So if you're interested in getting into the fashion side of things, I can help you there with the book. And also, if you're interested in getting involved in the presenting side of things, so if you want to be a presenter just like ourselves, yeah. there's great advice in there on who to seek out and the right training systems to, to, to have put in place, as well as such as Pinewood Studios, where they film Harry Potter and the big movie in, in that area there. And also, in terms of the acting as well, what to... Uh, to go to learn and what to, to search for as you mentioned before that The Dark Knight was one of your favourite movies I had two mm. friends that was in that movie Chucky Venn was in that he was also in a few other a few other productions as well like I believe EastEnders and also Winston Ellis uh, the part where Winston Ellis is also in Pirates of the Caribbean as well so he was one of the characters in there and the part where he's got a gun to his head and it's near the snooker table that's one of my friends Winston Ellis I've worked with him for quite a while so there's gonna be a lot of information behind the scenes of how to get into the industry and, and what's the right people to search for and I'm really looking forward to it so if you want to find out more about me just type my name in any search engine it's Ruel Singh so it's R-E-U-E-L-S-I-N-G-H Thank you so much. Awesome, man. That's fantastic. Guys, go check it out. The links will be below in the description of this video. And with that, guys, as always, thank you so much for spending this time with us. We had Ruel on the show who interviewed me, turned the tables on me, and you get to go behind the scenes and see what the channel and I am all about. So with that, thank you so much. Again, um, hey, make sure you subscribe to the channel, all right? It helps us grow, but also the fact it allows us to convince lots of other high profile guests to come so we can have those conversations and as you know i'm also running the channel competition if you subscribe right now and you comment on any video this video or any other video all right and i get a notification to say that you have subscribed to the channel and you have commented on any video you get automatically entered into the monthly competition which is the channel competition and you can win access to my new networking strategies course okay mm -hmm. well's familiar with it um, and uh, it's it, I, it's all the best stuff that I know about how to find connect and build relationship with the top people in the world and I'm gonna give that access to uh, somebody for free every single month okay so make sure you guys go ahead and do that and finally guys if you found any value in this video make sure or any of the other videos just make sure you pass it on that's all I ask um, I'm doing this for absolutely free from my own time uh, you know despite the fact that I have a full-time job I have a family and I have all, lots of other responsibilities and I'm doing this for free for you guys to serve you guys so the best compliment that you can give me um, is just to go ahead and, and pass it on and, and just forward it to somebody else this video and other conversations so they can benefit and they can learn and they can accelerate their lives with that thank you so much ruel thanks for being here man this was awesome thank you so much guys hustle hard catch you in the next one